When I got into high school, I got introduced into uh, drama and joined the drama club and I took drama. And, uh, but I also volunteered for the stage crew. And um, I did find that my talents were much better suited to hanging lights than uh, reciting lines on stage. <laughs> and so I was really drawn to it and I really found it very satisfying. And uh, so I used to finish, um, you know, we get out of high school at what time? 3.30, 4 o'clock. And I'd stay till 7 or 8 o'clock every night working on stage. And it, was, it was great. What drew you to it? What, what made it fascinating for you? I, I think part of it is the process is um, it's non-conforming to the rest of, of or to most jobs and most positions that, that it's kind of a um, there's a more of a fluid environment to be working in and um, there you were welcome to express yourself. It was more um, collaborative environment. And uh, I've never done well in rigidly, rigid circumstances where uh, I was just expected to perform a certain task and, and that's it. I've, you know, I like collaboration and I like, um, I like uh, uh, environments that are, that are free form and fluid. I lived in Palos Verdes and my friends and I had rode our bikes out to Marineland and it's quite a ride. You had, you had to go down Highway 1 there um, and we got to Marineland and they were shooting a Beverly Hillbillies television special at Marineland. It wasn't a normal Beverly Hillbillies episode, it was a, t it was a videoed uh, episode that they were going to make a special out of. and. Uh, we spent the entire day there just gawking at the technicians moving down these gigantic, I mean the size of Volkswagens, these cameras they had, they're moving them around and doing their setups and, uh, and it just really made a, a big impression on me. And also um, they came out there and shot Batman quite a few times and we, whenever they did we'd just go stand and watch the process and it just was, it intrigued me enormously. What do you remember about the shooting of Batman when you were watching it? Um, two things, how surreal it is for, um, for the frame that it, they're capturing is exactly the way it should be because it's what's going down on film. But this army of people staring at these actors and all these contraptions and lights and just you know, all focused on this single moment and it, it just is the juxtaposition was surreal to me. Today I s frequently get that feeling, I, although I don't work in film, I work in uh, event television, um, I get that feeling when I walk up onto the stage of say the Oscars and it's this glamorous set and everything's you know just perfect and you make a left turn and walk off stage and it's total chaos. I mean like Wires running everywhere, people bumping in and out, you know, people spilling coffee. It's, a, it's just completely the antithesis of that perfect world that is offered to the uh, viewing audience. Now, did you find yourself, when you were watching television or, or watching these things, did you find yourself already looking at, at specifically the lighting that was going on? You know, I don't remember doing that. I don't remember. I, I, um, and, and to be honest with you, the kind of television that was go being broadcast in the 50s, they lit very flatly. It was not very interesting. Uh, but uh, I don't remember thinking, oh, that's what I want. Now, I have an assistant right now who, at 12 years old, decided he was going to become a lighting designer and, and subscribed to Lighting Dimensions magazine. And he, right now he's um, working in television as his dream come true. So. There are kids that I guess decided at an early age, but it wasn't me, no. Um, I was fascinated with the process, so I knew that's what I, once I started, got into stage crew especially, I thought that is, that's what I want. I want to be in this industry somehow.